Hey, Dean of Games here where I do five, top five in five minutes. Are you ready for it? Here we go. Coming in at number five is a game that's been a while for a little while, but this one is suddenly becoming hot again, and I think part of that is the Christmas season. It's coming up Christmas, people are looking at bigger games, things they can get for the holidays. Mansions of Madness, second edition. This game incorporates an app, so you need an app on your phone, whether it be Android or iOS, and the app really adds a lot to the experience here in this game because it gives you sound effects, it gives you a lot. And so Mansions of Madness, number four. Now this game is new, and it is really about Norse mythology and deals with uh, a feast for Odin. So this is a game that's going to incorporate a lot of uh, legendary type of uh, interactions throughout the game. And it comes with beautiful pieces and a beautiful board, but this is going to cost you about $100. So you can see it's from the makers of Caverna, give you some idea of what that game might be like. We've got worker placement, uh, it's really quite an involved and beautiful looking game. Number three is an interesting addition to the list, and we're coming in at uh, 3 minutes and 50 seconds right now, so we're doing pretty good on time. Number three is an interesting one, it's uh, from an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, not really. It's from the original books, Conan. And this one by, from Monolith Games, so this one promises uh, to really be quite the package. By the way, all these games are about 100 bucks, or should be, and I'll get to that when I get to number two. But here at number three, we've got a beautiful set of pieces with this. Uh, you've got tiles to come up with different areas. You've got painted figures with this. Uh, one player plays kind of an overlord, and the other players uh, are then uh, kind of go against him in Conan. But a beautiful game. The only downside, I guess, is that you need more than... Uh, we well, need at least two players. There's no single player on this one. Next up, number two. This is the one that I said should be over $100, but this one isn't. This is a video game maker who's decided to make board games, and we're talking about Mechs versus Minions. Yeah, this is a hot game right now. They already had the first uh, release, first pressing. Now the second pressing is coming out in December. Still time to get on board for that one. But look at what you get with this. You get numerous maps, uh, and these are, I think, reversible as well. And you can, they are laid out in uh, both simple and then very, very more complex areas. You get tons of figures. And these are really quality figures. Uh, they look a little bit different. Uh, they're not huge, but they're very detailed. You get little gems with this thing. You get a cast of characters that come pre-painted. That's exactly how they'll look. There are four of them. This is a game where you program, kind of like Robo Rally, I guess. You program them with cards, though. And each turn, and you only have a limited amount of time, so there's a timer that goes off. You only have one minute to make your decision as to what card card you're going to select to play. And you play them, and then, then, they, then they go off. And whatever happens, you go right down the list in the, in, the, uh, in the spots, and they fire off. Should be an interesting game. Number one, shouldn't be a big surprise. We're talking about expensive games and games that are hot right now. This game was kick-started a while back. It took years to come out. And, of course, I'm talking about... Kingdom Death Monster. The box itself is huge, and then you just get a ton of figures. Now, the downside for me on this one is you've got to put together a lot of these figures. And so if you're one that likes to snap together things and, and pull a lot of pieces off of uh, various uh, different sections as they come in packaged, because there's no way they could package this in a box if they came assembled. This thing is, would just be unbelievably huge. Which makes me wonder what do people do once they assemble it. I guess you just have to kind of leave it out or put it in some sort of a big cardboard box. Because there are just a ton of pieces and some of them are quite tiny. So you really get involved in assembling. And a lot of people are really into this. Uh, the assembly and then the painting. There's got to be hundreds of figures to this particular game. Some of them are just, are just gorgeous though. Some of the larger figurines uh, that you end up assembling are just beautiful. And... I've not played the game from everything I understand, though. It is a beautiful game. Of course, you've got a lot of cards with this. You've got uh, uh, the figures. <clears throat> you've got dice. You've got you've got everything. The, the board itself is just a beautiful, kind of gothic-looking board. Uh, much different than anything else I've seen out there, and really intrigued me when I first when I first saw the board. Uh, in fact, let's let's take a brief look at that board now. Here's some of the completed figures on the board. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Uh, and I understand that it's 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 just a beautiful game to play. You can play one player, uh, you can play multiple players, but it, it does have a certainly a big price tag. Okay, look at that. We finished in under five minutes. That's five for five. 
five top fives in under five minutes. Thanks for watching.